Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you guys are all doing very well. Today I'm going to show you some of my hairstyles that I do every single day. They're pretty simple, they only take about 5-10 to 10 minutes depending on how long you've been doing your hair and how good you are at doing your hair. But I hope that you enjoy this video. Let's get on to the hairstyles. Before we get started, I just have four things that you need to do these hairstyles. So, you need a brush obviously, you need a hair tie, some bobby pins, and then you just need these hair elastics. They're just like little rubber bands almost. Okay. Okay, so the first hairstyle I'm gonna do is a braid to the side. So I'm gonna take a bobby pin, I'm gonna pick which side I want my split to be. I'm gonna put it on my left side. So make sure it's not center, you want it to be either on a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right of you. It's like about right here or right here. And you just split your hair up and you're gonna brush that out just a little bit and this is just for more precision but you don't have to do this. I take a little I take a little portion of hair, and that's what I'm going to start with the braid, and split it into three. Now, you can either do a Dutch braid or you can do a French braid. I just do Dutch braids because I like it when it pops out a little bit out of my head. So do one, and then grab some hair from the front. Not too much, just from the very, very front, and add that in. And then you're going to take some hair from the back, and you're going to add that in as well. Then you're going to add from the front again. When you keep adding from the front and from the back, you're going to add a little bit more hair than you did before. And then grab some from the back. Grab some more from the front. Now I'm going to grab more back here so then it reaches to where the braid is. When you're grabbing from the back, you're not grabbing on the other side of the part. You're only grabbing on this side of the part. Alright, so I got to about the crown of my head, which is where you want to be. And make sure that your hair, that your braid, is going straight back. You don't want it to go too much to the side. That means you need to grab more hair from here, from the back of your head, instead of from the front. And if you need more hair because it's not even, all you have to do is grab some more hair from back here because it won't be noticeable. But don't grab from here if you're already done. And you want like some hair like this if, if you like it. I like it like this. I don't like it when it's all pulled back. So after that, you're going to just do your braid all the way down without connecting it to your head anymore. So no more hair to add. So once you get to the bottom and you can't braid it anymore, you're going to take a hair elastic, the small one. Now make sure your braid is tight. I like it tight because then you can just pull it out later if you want it to be a little bit more thicker. So you can pull it out like this if you really want to, but you don't have to. And then you're basically all done. Now I have some bumps right here and my hair is kind of poofy. So I'm gonna just take a bobby pin and I'm gonna stick it in there. And if the braid is not like going straight back like this, and if it's leaning more to the side, then you're just gonna put more bobby pins in to make sure that it's this way. All right, so with this hand hairstyle, you can do another one. You can either simply leave it like this if you want your hair down, or you can put it up into a ponytail. Now it's pretty simple. You just get rid of this braid so you don't brush it. Get your brush and just brush your hair up into a ponytail. Make sure to get these side pieces too and smooth it all out. Make sure to keep this braid out of the way though because you don't want to brush it. And then so after you've got all that settled away, you need your hair tie. Grab the braid and you put it in. For this next one, your hair is going to be pulled back again. So from your eyebrows, you're going to just go back in a straight line. And you're going to brush that all out. Basically, this one's the easiest one. You just take a hair tie, a big one, and you just put your hair up into a ponytail. I like it kind of high up, so it's kind of popping out, but you can also just let it stay low. See, so I like it like that to where it's on top a bit. One of the simplest ones. So this next one is basically the same thing except with a braid this time. So you're gonna go back from your eyebrows again. You're gonna grab all that hair and you're just gonna split this into three. So split that into three and you're just gonna braid it all the way down. You don't need to put any other hair ties. This one you only need an elastic for.
So now you get your hair elastic and you just tie it up. Sometimes I like to loosen it so you just make it super tight in the beginning and then you can just pull it. Start from the top and then go down so then you can grab any loose hairs from up here and just go all the way down pulling the hair and that's it. Nice little braid in the back. Alright, so this next hairstyle is kind of hard. I don't do this every single day. I usually only do this one for special occasions, but it'll start with the part in the middle, so you need to split your hair in half. Go like this, so you can actually split it in half. And I'm just gonna tie one side, so then I don't accidentally grab some hair from it and then mess up the part. So I'm gonna work with this side first. What I'm going to do is create a braid. So I'm gonna just grab a little part for the beginning and I'm going to, I'm gonna Dutch braid, you can French braid. There's really no preference here, but you're not gonna go very far. So instead of going more back, like the first hairstyle we did, we're gonna go more to the side. So your braid's gonna wanna go this way, not this way. And you're not gonna go very far. You're gonna go until like a little bit before the crown of your head. So maybe like right here-ish. So it's about right here is where I'm gonna stop the braid from connecting to my head even more. And I'm just going to do a braid all the way back. So your hair is going to look like this. Now we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. If you need to watch it again, replay that part because I'm just going to fast forward through this next part while I do the other side of my hair. Now the closer that you get to the end, it will be much easier for the next part. All right, so we have both parts. Even if you messed up a little bit, I did mess up a little bit because my device ran out of storage, so I had to get another one. And so they're kind of uneven, but honestly, when you put this all together, it's okay. So you don't have to do them over again. At least I don't think you do. I'll just start with this side. You're going to grab it and you're just gonna wrap it around to the other side. So just like right here and get a bobby pin. You wanna put the end like underneath the braid. You don't see the part not braided. It's gonna be loose in the back, but you don't really need it tight. You're gonna grab the other one and you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're just gonna bring it around like a flower crown. I'm gonna move this one a bit more because it's a bit loose. So grab it around to like there because you don't want too much hanging right here. Otherwise, it'll come apart a lot faster. So we got one side of the head done, now we're going to do the other side. And we're going to tuck that in underneath that braid as best as you can. And it's sticking out, so good thing you have bobby pins. And that is basically it. You have your little flower crown. 